What's up, Eagles Nation? It's your guy, Cool Eagle, back here with another video. I just want to come talk to you guys. Uh, because apparently uh, we didn't learn anything from uh, from last video I posted about uh, Julio Jones. And we're still on this bandwagon, sadly. Um, it's like Eagles fans are just optimistic, like to get something that will never happen. It, like, it's almost as bad as Eagles fans who who thought Nick Foles was a better quarterback than Carson Wentz. But that's a whole other discussion. But can we please get off this bandwagon? Like, can we just stop? Julio Jones is not coming to Philadelphia. And for a number of reasons that I'll say again, he wants to go somewhere where he can win a Super Bowl. Rightfully so, because he's old as shit. You know what I'm saying? Has got all the accolades and the numbers. You know, we know he's a Hall of Famer just off of that. You know, probably one of the best wide receivers of the generation. So, so naturally, he wants to go somewhere where he wants to win. And the Philadelphia Eagles fans even thinking that we are Super Bowl ready, it's just ridiculous. What makes you think that? Like, we have a new coach, a quarterback that's still unproven, but in a four-game sample, a lot of us believe that he is proven, okay? Uh, a wide receiving core that was one of the worst in the league last year, and somehow we expect that to turn into what Tampa Bay was last year. Like, in a first-year head coach who no one has seen any kind of resident any kind of game film on because he hasn't coached a game. So what? Like all of a sudden we're putting Nick Sirianni over Sean Payton over uh over uh what's his name? Dude that played for the, uh dude that coached for the Rams, what's his name? Young dude. Going to put him over him too. Uh we're going to put Nick Sirianni over Bill Belichick. Dude, it's arguable the Eagles are a top 7 team in the NFC. And to be even qualified for a playoffs you like, like you got to be top seven in your own conference, and that's something we're clearly not. Okay, and then well, another thing: how are we going to pay Julio Jones? Because the money that he's owed this year, we gave to Derek Barnett, who, as a first round pick, has not lived up to his potential, except in one game where he stripped Tom Brady and Brandon Glenn recovered it, and after that. We haven't seen one iota of first-round caliber talent from Derek Barnett. Matter of fact, we can make the argument that in a lesser sample, Josh Sweat, a, a guy that was not picked in the first round, outplayed Derek Barnett, a first-round talent. So we need to get off this bandwagon. We need to start being real with ourselves because if we start doing all this fanboy, uh, unrealistic optimism, we are going to get laughed at. We are going to be what the Dallas Cowboys are, a laughable fan base. We don't want to be that. Let's let the Seahawks do that. Let's let the Seahawks get a Julio Jones without fixing the problems on their obviously flawed defense. Because I, I'm telling you, as soon as the Seahawks even think of signing the ink of the contract for Julio Jones, they are going to be the Cowboys of the NFC West. I guarantee you. All offense, quarterback putting up hell numbers, but but can't stop nobody. So we need to stop this shit. Like, let's let the Tennessee Titans, an abysmal-ass franchise who hasn't seen a Super Bowl since Eddie George. Like, let's let them do that shit. Ah, dang, man, y'all are ridiculous. Y'all are really ridiculous. If you really want to do something that's going to help this team, get KJ Wright or, or Steven Nelson. Get somebody that can solve that linebacking core. Get somebody that can go on the opposite side of Darius Slay because that's what we need. We don't need a Julio Jones. I'm tired of picking up these old-ass players who are on the tail end of their career who don't end up panning out. And I don't have to give examples. Y'all been watching this shit for the past three, four years, five years. Like, just stop it. Stop it. It's ridiculous. It's cute. It's really cute. I'll give you that. Cuter than a box of kittens. But ridiculous. So stop it.